Representative Lauren Boebert doesn't seem like she's the smartest person or necessarily the most well-read. And uh, you can see that in action as she seems to get stumped by the word wanton. Take a look. And then all hell broke loose. Rampant, evil, grabbing and grasping, vicious, backstabbing. They made life hell on earth with their envy, wanton killing. I don't know what a wanton killing is. I'm going to have to look that one up. But it sounds interesting, and I don't think I want to be a part of it. Well, I mean, I don't know. It, it depends on if you like Chinese food or not. But hey, if you're Lauren Boebert, that might be a little too ethnic for you. You know, wontons and all. But yes, beware the Chinese dumplings. There, there's just uh, so much killing, uh, you know, of these, of these wontons. Wontons killing. Yep. <laughs> She's a member of Congress, people. I mean, people, people elected her. They're like, that, that's it. That's who we want to represent us in Congress. Very, very smart people. Uh, very, very intelligent. Uh, they are representing us and, and making decisions on our behalf in Congress. Oh, dear God. I'm cognitively there. Oh, so now, look, uh, to be fair, I'm not, again, not surprised that she doesn't know the difference between wanton and a wonton, as I mentioned. Chinese food, Chinese dumplings, maybe a little bit too ethnic for her, you know. Gotcha, she's a real American. Now, this is, the whole thing is ironic because Lauren Boebert is one of those people, and I'm sure you've ran across them before, who talk about how, hey, if you're in America, you need to speak English. Damn it, you, know, you got to speak English. You got to understand the language. Which apparently she does not seem to understand the language itself. In fact, here's another example. You know, I just learned what duly noted means. Like for real, what it means, not what we just accept. I went to type it to someone who's pretty reputable. Side note, I went to type duly noted to someone because I wanted them to know I fully understand this. I got it double time. And I, I had a check in my spirit that said, maybe you should look this one up, Miss GED. I said, <laughs> I said, sure. So I looked it up and it says, heard and ignored. <laughs> See, you got a genius living on the inside of you. It'd be a shame for you to do all the thinking and talking yourself. <laughs> You gotta listen to him every now and then. You know how many times I've told someone duly noted? And they're probably like, what is her problem? Like, that was rude. Okay, wonton killers, okay. I got it. Doubly, doubly, doubly sure. And you know what? Uh, duly noted. <laughs> I think the last part here is, uh, that I love is, you got a genius inside of you. Lauren, are you sure about that? I, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's that much of a genius inside you. But maybe, uh, maybe it's a, of the Trump variety, and it just happens to be a very stable genius. I, I don't entirely know. <laughs> but on a serious note, Lauren, uh, if anything, this is an indictment of the U.S. school system, which has very, uh, very, you know, clearly failed Ms. Bobert. Hey, but the good news is, she might be in actually, she's actually in a position to possibly do something about it. But of course she will.